Yes. Move along. None of your bloody business. Sod off. Hmm, all right. If you insist. We got two bodies in there. A man and a woman. Craig and Sira, a young couple. By the looks of it, they were murdered sometime last night. A real shit show. And we don't have the slightest clue where to start looking for the murderer. The Red Madness? Ah, right. It's possible. Though we've only had a few cases here in Duneville so far. Craig and Sira Copperhammer, both Duneville folk. He's a miner, she waits tables at that Killian's Inn. And I believe that's about it. Ah, wait, no. Craig has a brother, Darius. But he's a sailor, so I don't even know if he's around. Knock yourself out, but I hope you have a strong stomach. The other guards have already secured the evidence, so you're free to try your luck.
So, find anything? Really? Is that so? Hmm, I know the handwriting. That's Karamia. What else did you find? Anything else? Let me see. Hmm, well, well. This might actually help us. Anything else? I see. Hmm. What do you say? Currently the Duneville Guard's ranks are a little sparse. A little inconvenient, I know. But all this chaos in recent times is starting to take its toll. Hardly any merchant vessels come here anymore. And the few who do expect us to stand guard while they take a shit. All while paying us next to nothing to anchor here. Like that idiot I was talking to before. Still, if there's a knife-wielding lunatic on the loose, we need to do something about it. So how's this? You find the murderer, and we'll pay you. It'll be dangerous, of course. But you look as though you can take care of yourself. Wise words. Follow the clues and tell me when you find something. I'll be right here. A merchant, rough and cunning. She gave us trouble once or twice over the past year, though I never took her for a murderer. Actually, I do. Just follow the coast to the west and you should find it. It's been deserted ever since the isolation, so be on your guard. you could call it that, though he himself apparently considered it a bloody donation. Two years, and I didn't get a fucking penny back. Oh, spare me the subtle accusations and tell me why the fuck you're here. Hm. Doesn't surprise me. I am. He was a debtor. And a fool. <laughs> Craig. I never met anyone so fucking brazen. Swears to me that he doesn't have a coin to spare, and then buys jewelry from Ark the next day. Ah, that's what this is about. <laughs> well, sorry to disappoint you, love, but you're barking up the wrong tree. I had nothing to do with that man's death, and if you're smarter than a pus bug, you'd see why. First of all, I don't profit from his death. Now, the money's gone for good. Second, I'm sure as fuck not a priestess. But I'm not a murderer either. I give loans, I want them back. Plus interest. End of story. <laughs> you think this works any differently in Ark? You have a lot to learn, darling. <sighs> I can't wait.
Ah, now to have some pork chops. Sorry, shift drag on forever. My righteous path, you must be joking. Sam, bollocks, didn't your parents teach you any manners? Just back from some old forgotten ruin, and of course, what better place to dust off your boots than on old Tabacus's already ruined Galean carpet? What do you want, anyway? Are you here because of the poster? Moldy? Now watch your mouth, girl. This moldy piece of cloth is a hand-woven carpet straight from the bazaars of O'Neill Yard, worth more than the entirety of those bloody rags you're wearing. Huh. I'm looking for a mercenary or an adventurer. Blazes. I'd settle for a talking Lyran, as long as he was able to help me. Let's make this short. I'm looking for something, my diploma, and I want you to find it for me. Ah, stuck up self-important pricks is more like it. Yes, maybe there's less coin to be made here, and yes, maybe people are on the rougher side, but at least they're honest. A diploma issued by the Cixin Academy of the Arcane Arts. I am a licensed optimist, girl. One of the few in the land where every bloody herbalist capable of brewing a laxative calls himself that. Well observed. The most renowned university in the Golden Empire, if I may say so. Aside from the Simtoza, that is. But they are pathless heathens. Um, kind of. But that's irrelevant. Are you interested in the job or not? In T.L.R. Aranthiel's underpants, of course. No, oh, I, I don't know where it might be. Otherwise, I wouldn't need you, would I? I'm afraid the entire matter is a bit more complicated. Come, let's talk in the end, shall we? Drinks are on me. of me. One for me, one for the girl. Mages, wild and free. Wicked, wayward wizards. So, where do we start? Ah, uh, right. With Cuthbert. My, um, my mini pig. My faithful pet for two decades. He died of old age two moons ago. A heavy cross to bear, as you can imagine. But, well, such is the cost of things. Why not? Pigs are faithful animals, smarter than most dogs, and they're easy to keep, especially down here. Though, of course, teaching these imbeciles that Cuthbert's purpose wasn't to end up as a side of bacon on their plates was hard work. A few drops of these laxative elixirs in their drinks did the trick, though. They haven't messed with me or Cuthbert ever since. I'm getting there. I 
I think he buried the flow somewhere out there in the desert. Well said, though that doesn't mean it's lost. As it happens, I have a great plan on how we could find the uh, burial site and get it back. I'd see it through myself, but my arthritis has gotten a lot worse over the past few weeks. I guess I'm not thirsty anymore. Uh, of course, someone like you, with just a few winners on his back, wouldn't understand. You see, the life of a man is a stony acre, the tilling of which is hard work. Ultimately, it's the sweet flowers you want to relish, not the weeds. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Good. Look, I know that a man my age won't be moving mountains anymore. The Diploma Kyra, it's one of my biggest achievements. And I want to have it with me in the last chapter of my life, just to relish the memory. Easy. We need to contact Cuthbert. He did. And now, before you write me off as a crazy old geezer, well, I'm not. The eternal paths, the beyond, whatever you want to call it, they aren't as inaccessible to the living as the order leads us to believe. We beings have an echo when we die. And a good friend of mine has made it her purpose to serve as a medium between the living and the dead. Her name is Aurora. Aurora Leckwork. Ah, a magnificent woman she really is. She has the wisdom of an oracle and the beauty of a rising sun. on the Sun Coast, is it? Yes, she does have a sister. But they don't talk much, as far as I know. Correct. She will ask for a bit of money for her services. Here, this should be enough. And I've heard that she needs something from the deceased the customers are trying to contact. Here. These are some of his bristles. Now be off, will you? I'll be waiting. Not this Aurora. THE Aurora. Have some respect, will you? Aurora lives in an old trading tower near the plantations on the eastern coast. You have a map, right? Here. This is where you'll find her. Now go, and please don't get eaten by a bone ripper. The bristles are all that I have left of Cuthbert. What is it? Go to Leckler, contact Cuthbert in the beyond, and find my diploma. Not a but
are you? How did you get in? A bone ripper? Oh, that's... That's bad. Oh, blazes. And here I thought that the barrier spell Tarhudi sold me would actually do its job. Anyway, who are you? And what do you want here? <laughs> My condolences. Huh? Oh, no, we get along just fine. It's just... She's a fraud. She sells rubbish to superstitious farmers, old skulls and love potions, and promises they'll solve all their problems. I always tell her to get a real job, but she won't listen. Either way, back to the topic at hand. What do you want? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, I can help. Or let me put it this way. The voices of the new age can. Yes. Now, don't take this the wrong way, but you don't look very spiritual to me, so I won't waste my time with explanations. What's important is that the seances I perform are complicated, which is why I'll need something from you to do them. What's that, hair? <laughs> oh, you read one fairy tale too many, haven't you, kid? <laughs> I don't need a lock of hair. I need a, um... Ocean. A special concoction that facilitates the process of getting in touch with the dead. As I said, a special one. Here, this is a list of the ingredients. Find them and have some alchemist brew the potion, then come back to me. Ah, and one more thing. You said the Bone Ripper broke the door? You don't think you could do an old woman a favor and, uh, repair the door for me? I can't hold a seance if a group of lost ones could just saunter into the tower at any moment. Oh, thank you, dear. You're a treasure. Never. 
Sorry. I... Listen, if Craig sent you because of what happened at the lighthouse, tell him I'm sorry. I should never have hit him, even though I'll never forgive him for what he did. Dead? What? But... Why? How? Me? But... Uh, I, I'm sorry, this is... This is a lot to take in. I, I, I don't know what to say. Blazes, you're serious about this. Damn it, I didn't kill Craig or Sira. Why would I do that? You know that already, don't you? Craig kept my part of our inheritance. He simply didn't tell me there was one when our father died three years ago. Because a fellow sailor from Doonville told me that Craig bought jewelry for his woman in Ark. That immediately sounded fishy to me. Craig never had a head for money. And working the plantations doesn't pay well, so I... Oh, blazes. I still can't believe they're dead. Who on Vin would do this? I hired a mercenary who looked into it. And it's true. Our father had a small stash of 2,000 pennies, which Craig took all for himself. Trust me, I wish it weren't so. What do you think? I wanted answers. But the bloody fool insisted that our father didn't leave us an inheritance. And that he just found the money for the jewelry in front of his house one day. Ugh, made me snap. Aye, we beat the tar out of each other. Blazes, can you believe it? My brother is dead, and my last memory of him is a blasted brawl. A couple of bruises and cuts, no worse than I was. After we got it out of our system, we went back home. I to the ship, and he to Doonville. Let's talk about it again once we've cooled our heads a little. I guess that won't happen anytime soon if what you say is true. Find the bastard who did this. I want to see him hanged. Bled in an Iron Maiden. Promise me. Aye. He had always been a bad liar. Hmm. He owed Karamea some money. Doonville's loan shark. Other than that, he had no enemies. Neither him nor his companion. I... Fine. I see why you're doing this. I can only hope you're gonna find who really killed him. Let me tell the captain about this, then we can go.
Keep your fingers to yourself, Marie. This isn't our. Ah, there you are. I've been looking for you. There's something you should see. Darius Copperhammer's dagger. Hidden under a rock in the graveyard. Metal reflects sunlight. Something Darius apparently forgot. Several of his fellow sailors confirmed it. Yes, he doesn't deny that the dagger is his, but claims that someone stole it and is trying to frame him. As far as I'm concerned, the matter is clear. What did your little visit to Karamir uncover? Hmm. I did some research myself while you were hunting down Darius and Karamir. According to a friend from the guard, one of her debtors had a fatal accident two years ago. A fisherman, 60 winters old. In other words, the woman clearly isn't a nun. <sighs> Problem is, the Overseer wants the matter solved. Now. Ha! <laughs> They'd send them right back to us or hang them both. To Ark folk, us Dunevillers are all pathless scum. In Duneville, we solve our own problems. Prison or the gallows, I don't know. You see my problem? Honestly? No idea. This is as much my case as it is yours. What do you say? Darius or Karamir? Hmm, and I guess it's up to me, isn't it? Great. Either way, thanks for helping out. Here, you earn this. I need a bloody drink now. Come on, I'm buying. Watch yourself out there. The sandstorms can get real ugly. Ah, it's you. Told you it was Darius, didn't I? Good work. Without you, we'd still be out there in that goddamn heat looking for proof. Potatoes gone. Yeah, that should be it. Ray, you're the one who saw the bird, eh? Yeah. Our new Darius. To tell you the truth, I thought he was a fine fella. Well, it's all I know. Huh?